Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at mixed Nash equilibrium, uh, specifically the matching coins game. Um, what is mixed Nash equilibrium? Uh, it's when a game doesn't have a pure Nash equilibrium, or pure Nash equilibria. Um, so the best way to uh, understand this is by doing a quick example. So the matching coins game is that two players two players toss a coin and it can be either heads or tails if the two coins match so if we have two heads or two tails Player one wins. So what he wins, um, or anything along that uh, line of inquiry, doesn't actually matter. All that matters is that he wins. And similarly, if the coins don't match, so if they differ, so heads tails, tails heads. Of course, player two wins. So how do we draw this um, as a game form? Well, quite simply, we have player 2 up here and player 1 down here. So if the coins match, player 1 wins, so we'll give him utility 1. And of course, if they match, player 2 loses, so we give him minus 1. And we fill in a table like that. So if they're different, player 1 loses, player 2 wins, and so on down here. So, how do we solve this? Looking at what we've looked at in the previous videos, we can't use um, any iterated, elim iterated elimination methods, and we can't use a pure Nash equilibrium. So how can we solve this? So we use what's called a mixed strategy. So what we do is we attach a distribution to the strategies of each player. So for example, we will let rho uh, equal p and 1 minus p, and we let this be the mixed strategy. for player 1 so we have player 1 will play heads with a probability p and tail with probability 1 minus p now that's quite straightforward how about player 2 So for player two, uh, we'll let sigma equal q and one minus q for his mixed strategy. And of course we have player two uh, has heads uh, with probability q and tails 
with 1 minus q. So what we're going to do now is consider the payoffs to each of the players. So payoff for player one. We have u1 of rho and sigma equal to heads, heads. Uh, so if we have heads times by heads, we have 1 uh, minus the probability of heads and tails because we have negative 1 for a difference and tails heads with another, another negative 1 and a positive one for the matching tails tails and we put the probabilities that we calculated up here into this and we end up with this Now if we expand the brackets and solve them, we factorize them as 2q minus 1 and 2p minus 1. So clearly for what we have here, if the value for q is less than half, player 1 chooses p equals 0 and it plays t which is tails so why is this? well if q is less than a half then two lots of less than a half minus 1 will be a negative value multiply negative value by um, by another negative value which will be accomplished by choosing p equals zero and we have a positive value and a positive utility payoff however if q is greater than a half player one chooses p equals one and plays heads as above, we want a positive value here, so if we have greater than a half, we also want a positive value here. However, if q is actually equal to a half, then player one can choose any mixed strategy. So it doesn't matter what he chooses if the coins are fair, of course. So for player two, So this is the same as player 1, but obviously we're going to have different negative and positive values given heads, 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 tails, and what player 2 wanted from the original game. So I'm going to skip a few steps. And once again, this factorizes as 2q minus 1, 1 minus 2p. 
Okay, now in this case, if P is less than a half, player two will choose Q equals one. So if P is greater than a half, player two will choose Q equals zero. And if P equals a half, player two can choose any mixed strategy. Of course, for this, we have your play heads, and for here, he'll play tails. So, what does this actually mean? Well, it means that the only pair of strategies that we can refer to as best responses are the following ones. So yes, the only pair of strategies that's the best response to each other are when we have probability equals a half and we can choose any mixed strategy.